Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mango Town Plaza, Morabaraba. Morabaraba is an African game played with what are traditionally called cows. Um, not the kind of cow that some of you like to eat. We've got Mango Town Matt here. Mango Town Travis will be playing with me. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so basically the way that this game works, and we are going to just go ahead and start here, is <clears throat> each player has 12 cows. Each player takes a turn placing a cow anywhere on the board. The idea is to get rows of three. If you get a row of three, you get to remove one of your other player's cows which in Morabaraba is called shooting the cow. Um, after each player has placed down all 12 pieces, they are effectively able to start moving pieces around on the board now, obviously, if Travis were to make a row of three and take some of my pieces, it means that I have less pieces on the board to begin with. puts me at a disadvantage. There are three ways you can win Mora Baraba. One way is to block all of your opponent's move and leave them with no future moves. Another way is to... get enough rows of three, and that can even mean moving a piece out and moving a piece back in, similar to nine men's Morris, and presumably 12 men's Morris as well. Um, and if you take enough of their pieces and they only have two remaining, boom, you win. Now Travis and I did play this yesterday and we ran into some Tricky, <clears throat> tricky business <clears throat> with the stream, that is. Excuse me. Um, but overall, I've been having a great time playing Mora Barba. Now, I will say, if you, if you are interested in Mora Barba, we are playing on an IG Game Center. Um, I think one of the downsides of Mora Barba is sometimes there isn't consistency across platforms. Uh, I was looking to play it while I had a break at work today, downloaded one on my phone, um, but in that version of Mora Barba, it allowed you to remove pieces if they were three in the same row. Now, traditionally, you're unable to do that. Um, so I was a little bit surprised that that was allowed. Mora Barba is traditionally, as I mentioned, an African game. Um, it was pl played, I believe originally, to help teach children strategy and tactical thinking um, I was doing some reading up on the history of Mora Baraba yesterday, and they did mention um, quite a bit about it originating that way, but really being played by all ages. Obviously, if you play the game enough, there are multiple venues, multiple avenues that you can go with it that make the strategy quite um, intense. Now, Travis already took one of my pieces. I'm already down to 11 cows. He has all 12. So the chances of me winning becomes increasingly difficult. How 
However, there may be a number of possibilities within any given game. Um, I, I think more Barba is great. One of the things Travis and I were discussing yesterday was the fact that what's great about games like Mora Baraba, Nine Men's Morris, any games where you have this traditional square setting on the board, um, is that you can do, not you can do, you can play these games anywhere. We were talking like, oh man, if we went camping, all we would need to know is that we need A through G, one through seven, three squares inside of each other, and two and an X through the center. We need maybe some pine cones and some rocks. Um, and then we we could play anywhere. Now I'm not let's see, it is Travis's turn right now. So all of our we are both at eleven cows right now. He shot one of my cows, and you know how we do. Somebody shoots one of our cows. We shoot one of their cows back. So what Travis is trying to get me to do right now, turn my turn my uh, recording volume down a little bit. Travis is trying to get me to split that group of three up. The tricky part with that being is that as soon as I split it up, he's going to get in there. This is this is going to be a very complicated game. If I move G four to G one. He either moves G7 to G4 or F4 to G4. Really doesn't leave me a whole heck of a lot of options. But you know what? For the sake of the game, let's do it. Let's see what happens. After all, games are about having fun with your buds. Uh, yesterday, Travis and I were also trying out... Um, having him on while I stream. I know we do that with Mangatom Plaza on Tuesdays when we play chess. So I will definitely be interested to see. Where this goes next. Yeah, each one of these moves for us. Now, I've never ever played a game of Mora Barbar where we ended up with 11-11, even when I played against the computers. So each one of these each one of these possibilities will certainly be interesting. Those of you in America right now, I'm currently running. Uh, I'm currently running. What speeds might look like should net neutrality really drop the hammer? It was quite frustrating at times. 
But what's a boy to do? What is a boy to do? So man, Travis and I are both at an impasse. If we split up the rows of three that we have right now, our opponent is gonna move into the, the row of three. I mean, I was telling you it's not my turn now, but Travis, Did just move, so I'm a little bit confused. This will wait a second. Oh, I see. And Travis, Travis got me. He sure did. Yeah. So all gameplay aside, Travis is. I would be very surprised if I am able to win. This this game. I mean, Travis is going to move g6 back to d d6 on his next turn, and then he can basically just switch back and forth for the remainder of his time there. The only thing that I can hope is to maybe be able to... Now, there's literally nothing that I'm going to be able to do besides just sit and take it. Until we get down to the last three. But that will also be interesting. When I was playing on my on that app today, where where they actually it was funny, they like instead of having black and white pieces like they do here, they had little cows, little brown and white cows. Um, but when you got when you get down to the last three traditionally in Mora Barba and in other games similar to this style, Nyman's Morris and whatnot, you can move the last three pieces anywhere on the board. Now, I don't think Travis and I got to a situation like that yesterday, but if it, if it lets me, I will have some small advantage for one turn, but it really doesn't do too much for you. I wonder a lot overwhelmingly if white is always at a slight advantage. Travis played an opener yesterday that was um, excellent. And, uh, and because he was white, I mean, he also played, I think he played one yesterday where I was white and he was, so it depends on your player ability. <laughs> block him there though so at the very least he can't move back and get he could have moved d6 back to d4 uh, excuse me he could have moved f6 to d6 and then he could literally have just moved back and forth and just wiped me off the board. He knows now, I bet he's listening.
that would be yesterday. Yesterday, uh, when Travis and I were streaming, Twitch Twitch was having some issues yesterday, so we didn't uh, stream for too terribly long. But we played three or four games. It would be really funny if we only got through one game in this stream. I'm only planning about doing 45 minutes. Um, it is getting close to dinner time. I'm getting hungry. What's really interesting to me is that I didn't grow up playing very many of these games. Ah, uh, see, here's where it gets tricky. Hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't matter what I do. Whether I move G7 or E5, could do something really inconsequential, but what would be the point? Basically, either whether I move G7 to F6 or G7 to D7, either way, he's got an opportunity. But I, I like that. Let's keep him confined to that left hand side of the board until he. Shoots my cow. Hopefully he'll use all of the animal. Predictable. Oh. Oh. Yeah, man. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter at this point what I do. Hmm. Hmm. I would love to know about his tactical thinking in this moment. Maybe he's trying to get me to break up that group of three. Ooh, that would be sneaky. I could. You know, I think I would rather play play more games than play one really prolonged game. So let's block that possibility. And he can open that up. He's going to get either way. But I was the way the board's set up, there was never going to be any possibility for me to be able to. What are you? I don't know if Travis is just missing the fact. I don't, like... I don't know if it's just that Travis hasn't played a ton of more Barba or if he's just not seeing the possibilities. I always just assume that Travis is better than me in most games because he always seems, well, now, backgammon is, can be hit or miss. Backgammon is sometimes more chance since you are rolling dice, but it is also using the combinations. Travis does tend to beat me uh, 
in backgammon, and he definitely beats me in standard variation of chess. And in many of the other uh, standard variations, or not standard, uh, variations that we play on Lee chess, Sly chess, Li chess, as Travis always says, the three different, since we don't want to want to make sure that everybody now one thing i have going for me right now is that b4 i'm amazed that travis did not block me getting those three um ah he got three ah nice luckily i had a two-way set up i wonder no it won't let me okay so luckily this version is good I'll, i appreciate that this version does not allow you to doesn't allow you to remove pieces from rows of three. a little hot cocoa. Ah, it was from Get Out. That's what it was. There's that scene where the mom is just stirring her tea, I believe it is. Good movie. I'll, be, I'll definitely be interested to see what um, Jordan Peele does with what he does. He's he's doing a new. I don't know if it's new. I'm not sure if he's rewriting it and doing kind of like a remake of. Or if he's doing his own modern take on the Twilight Zone. But either way, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I enjoy his writing quite a bit. Ooh, yeah, that was a smart move on Travis's part. Very smart. Hmm, now we do have some possibilities here. Ooh, but so does Travis. Man. Man, oh man, Mr. Travis. Does when you get when you get I'm gonna wait till after his next turn, and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna say. Excuse me. Oh, man. Ah, uh -huh, interesting. So, uh, I just checked Facebook to see if Travis had anything to say. I think what he said was that it was stopping him from doing these double moves. Now, right now, Travis has D7, D6, D5. Now, D6 is an open position right now. But he also has F6, F4, F2. Now, in theory, he could move F6 back and forth between F6 and D6 and just take a piece. 
Take a piece. Take a piece. Take a piece. I mean, yo, he even has a7, b6, c5 open as well. So he could take a piece, take a piece, take a piece, take a piece. Spoke too soon, perhaps. Let's find out. Is it my turn now? Excellent. Now, I'm surprised that it won't let him do that. See, this is what I'm talking about with variations of the game. All the other versions that I've played have allowed me to do so. I'm actually glad that it doesn't. I think it makes for a more, a more interesting, a more strategically difficult game. Oh, nice. Great job, Travis. I think it's going to be a close one. I think Travis has it in the bag. He's got so many possibilities right now. Yeah, nice. So it must be just that you can't do it one right after the other. That makes sense. It's going to be game over for me, though. I mean, at this point, it's almost like, what's the point, you know? Could follow it out to its natural end. Interesting. So, I mean, I think that's a logical strategy. He can move right back afterwards. Um, let's create some chaos and see what he does. Makes sense, certainly. Yes, I mean, two, three moves in the bag for Mr. Travis.
see if we can make it a little bit difficult for him. So now, since I only have three pieces, I can move them anywhere. Anywhere I want. <clears throat> Though I'm not sure, I'm not sure if there's actually a feasible way for me to win still. It's highly unlikely. All he has to do is make one, one move, one combination of three, and I'm done for. But one thing that's funny is if he moves any of his three, now the three pieces in a row are called a mill. I did have to check on that. Um, but if he moves any of his any of his cows out of his mill, I can just immediately block the possibility of a Unfortunately, it's going to get to the point where I have three pieces blocked and he creates a new possibility for a fourth or a fifth mill game over from there. Yep, just like this. Just like this. Great job, Travis. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and resign. Cool. Um, you know, I think based on the time, we're right at 30 minutes. Um, I don't want to go over 45, and I don't know that we'll have time to do an entire... There's there's the little... So Travis gets to see his trophy. I'm just going to go ahead and, and end the stream here. I hope you all enjoyed uh, Mango Town Plaza Mara Barabar. Thank you so much for watching, and remember... Learn from seeds to rise, no, how, no matter how much dirt is thrown at you. And that's by Machona Tsliweo. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. And we will see you soon for more Mangotown Plaza.